After Yates dumped illegally caught fish overboard, he was prosecuted under a federal law that criminalizes destroying a tangible object to obstruct a government investigation. Yates claimed that the term tangible object has a narrow meaning because the statute, passed in the wake of the Enron scandal, was aimed at punishing those who destroy records of financial fraud. Is a fish a tangible object? That's the core question in Yates versus United States. Commercial fisherman John Yates took his vessel, the Miss Katy, on an expedition for Red Grouper in the Gulf of Mexico. An officer ascertained that Yates had 72 grouper measuring under the 20-inch mark required under federal conservation guidelines. The officer issued a citation, directed Yates to keep the fish segregated until the ship returned to shore, and departed. Yates instructed his crew to toss the undersized grouper overboard. Yates was charged with violating a provision of the Sarbanes-Oxley Act, passed after Enron's auditor systematically shredded records evidencing the energy giant's massive accounting fraud. The provision, Title 18 of the United States Code, Section 1519, penalizes destroying or concealing any record, document, or tangible object to obstruct a federal investigation. Yates argued that Section 1519 applied to tangible objects such as computer hard drives and logbooks, not fish. The government contended that tangible object had a broader meaning, encompassing fish. Yates was convicted. The Eleventh Circuit affirmed. The United States Supreme Court granted cert.